Okay, Google. How long is Golden Gate Bridge? What's up guys, Manish here and in this video we'll be taking a look at on how to get the Moto X features on any of the Android device. So for this particular tutorial I'll be using my Nexus 4 and as I said before this particular tutorial should hold good for any of the Android device out there. So in the first step what we'll do here is we'll get some stock Moto X wallpapers. So uh, the very first thing which you'll need to do is obviously uh, you'll need to connect your uh, device onto your computer. And once you've connected your device onto your computer, uh, go ahead and download the first file which you can find in the description. And uh, go ahead and just extract it. So you'll be presented with two folders over there. And go to the first folder which says Moto X Wallpapers and uh, copy all the files which are there inside it. So just copy all the files and then go to computer and go to the Nexus 4 uh, drive and then create a new folder called Moto X Wallpapers. So once the folder has been created, go inside it and paste all the files over there. So once you're done with that, uh, go to your Nexus 4 uh, device and go to the uh, app drawer and then go to gallery and go to the folder which says Moto X Wallpapers. And then just basically choose the wallpaper which you like. Personally, I like this particular uh, you know, wallpaper since it comes by default in the Moto X phone. So let's go ahead and set it as my default wallpaper over there. So as you can see over here, we have got the stock Moto X wallpaper running on our device. So in the second step, we'll try to get the active notification feature of the Moto X. So go to your Play Store and then just go ahead and download an application called as dynamic notifications so once you've got this particular application downloaded go to your app drawer and go to the application that is uh, dynamic notification which you have just installed and then just uh, check mark the option over there that, that says dynamic notifications and then hit on ok to confirm it so now your app that is dynamic notifications is active and let me just go ahead and put my phone into the sleep mode and try to send an email to myself uh, just to show you guys on what exactly this particular application does. So when I receive an email over here, it will provide a small Gmail icon over there as you can see. And if I tap on it, it will provide a preview of it. And if I slide up, it will actually take me to the Gmail uh, app over there. So now let me just go ahead and provide another quick demo of this particular application by sending a text message to myself and when I receive a text message it will provide a small icon over there. Again tap on it to read the text message and if you want to reply you just slide up and it will take you directly to the um, application where you can reply to your friend. So now if you want to block certain notification from certain application go to the manage block tabs. And over here, you can uncheck the applications from which you do not want the notifications to appear. So the third feature which we'll try to get over here is the Moto X camera app. So in order to uh, get that particular feature, go to the Play Store and download an application called as Astro Cloud and File Manager. So this particular application will help us to get the Moto X camera app. So once you've got this particular application installed, go to your computer and download an APK called as Moto X Camera APK. So the link to it will be there in the description below. So just go ahead and copy this particular file and go to computer and go to the Nexus 4 drive and uh, uh, go to the downloads folder over there and just paste it over here. So once you've got the Moto X Camera app placed over there, uh, go to your Nexus 4 device and then go to uh, Astro File Manager, which you are just installed, and go to SD Card Zero, and hit on Downloads, and choose Moto X Camera App, and then hit on Next, and in hit on Install. So 
So once you're done installing the uh, application, uh, choose the second camera app over there. That is a Moto X camera app. And uh, once you're done with that, uh, you know, just swipe from left to right to get the settings panel. And uh, let me just go ahead and, you know, choose the autofocus uh, on and take a picture of a subject over here. That is my microphone and long tap the screen to take multiple pictures at a time. And you can also use some of the very cool features such as HDR and panorama over here. So the next feature which you'll take a look at over here is the Moto X camera shake thing where you basically, you know, flip your wrist twice to load up the Moto X camera. So the way you do that is by, uh, you know, downloading a APK file over here that is Tasker and the link is below in the description. So just go ahead and copy the uh, Tasker file over here and go to Nexus 4 or uh, internal storage and go to the uh, downloads folder over here and then just paste the Tasker APK file over here. So once you have, you know, pasted the file, uh, go to your Nexus 4 uh, device and then go to Astro File Manager and then go to SD card 0, download and hit on Tasker V1.4.1, sorry, and then hit on next and then hit on install. So that should basically, you know, install the Tasker app on your device. So once you've got the Tasker app installed, go to your uh, app drawer and then choose the Tasker application over there. So once you've got the Tasker app loaded, hit on the plus symbol and then hit on event and then choose sensor and then choose the shake option over there. I usually keep the sensitivity, uh, you know, to medium, then go back and then choose new task. Uh, I'll just name the uh, task as camera shake. And then choose the OK symbol over there. And then uh, hit on the plus symbol again. And then choose app. And then choose load app. And then you'll need to choose the second camera app over there. So that is a Moto X camera app. And then just go back and just make sure that the shake left to right is uh, turned on. And at the top, it should tell you something like active. And now if you, uh, you know, flip your wrist twice, it should load up the Moto X camera app. So the next feature which we'll try to get over here is the Moto X touchless control, which I had, you know, demoed at the very beginning of this video. So the way you get this particular feature is by, uh, you know, uh, going to the Play Store and search for an application uh, called as Utter Voice Commands. So just go down, uh, you know, download this particular application. And once you have, you know, installed this particular application, go to your app drawer and search for the app that is Utter. So once this app has been loaded, hit on Accept, choose uh, ENG USA and then go to settings and then choose wake up a phrase over there. So that should basically activate this particular feature which we are talking about over here. Go back and then go to settings again and just make sure you have got the wake up phrase activated over there. And once you're done with that, let me just go ahead and demo this particular feature for you. Okay, Google. When is my next appointment? September 5th, 7.40 a.m. Okay, Google. Who is the president of USA? So that's it for this video guys and if you have enjoyed this video please do make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button which is found below this video. So that's it for now and I'll see you guys in the next one.